Well, let's take a walk through the code in this LabVIEW project. Begin by reviewing the overall structure of the VI PC main first. We have a sub VI that opens a connection to a particular shared variable. I have four altogether that I'm accessing. Once those references have been established, you can use functions to read the value of the variable. And I'm taking that value and displaying it as an indicator. You can then write the variable. So taking a front panel control and writing that value. The stop button is written as a variable as well. And it's used to stop the loop. Once you're done referring to a variable, you can close the connection to that variable. Let's take a look at the block diagram for RT main. RT main has two loops. Let's begin with a non-deterministic loop. In this loop, the shared variables are accessed to interface directly to the onboard LED and the onboard button. The stop button from the PC main is also used to stop this loop. The timed loop or deterministic loop is for accessing the accelerometer at a high rate and then writing that value to the shared variable. Notice the distinction between when the RT FIFO should be enabled. This loop is operating at 100 Hertz. I'm using a single process shared variable to communicate the stopping information between these two loops. So a single shared variable from the PC main, that is network published shared variable, stops both loops. All right, let's locate the functions sub palettes. Back in PC main, go to data communications and shared variables. And this is where you find the various functions for opening your connection, reading and writing a variable, and then closing the connection to that variable. Now let's take a closer look at how you specify the particular shared variable that you are trying to access. We see a somewhat complicated looking string here, but it's actually quite easy to, to form. For example, if we started with the original function, just go ahead and create a constant for that, and then browse to the shared variable location inside the current project. So we su select the real-time target, find the variable that's hosted on that uh, real-time target, and you're all set. So the string is, is built for you automatically.